Hey what's up guys, Weekly Light here, and today I'm going to be bringing you another side mission in Pit People. So today's side mission is called Walking on Sunshine, and this can be found in the Central Hub Castle area by the mission board. And the description reads, go to Mega Bat's basement and find the Sun Sword. Seems simple enough, there's only four skills in difficulty, how hard could it possibly be? Once you get there, you meet a fancy looking zombie, and he tells you that uh, Megabat's cooking, so that's why you, it was easy to get into the attic. And then you ask him if you've seen a mirror around there, and then you talk to the mirror, and then the mirror tells you you need a shard. And then you go and you have to look in one of these like sarcophaguses to find the mirror shard, and it's basically like that, um, that gym in Pokemon, uh, the electric gym, where you have to check trash cans one at a time until you find the right switch. Anyway, um, yeah, so it was the bottom right sarcophagus for me, the furthest bottom right one. So I don't know if it'll be that one for you guys, but I thought it was going to be the furthest back left, and I accidentally hit the front right one, so I guess I lucked out there. Um, yeah, but this, this part's not too bad. And then once you get the shard, then you have to defend it and take it back to the mirror. So this is where you want to have someone with high mobility head back. But unlike um, the uh, Snottery Barn mission, there's not that many enemies trying to catch you. It's really just, it's not that bad. And you have a pretty good head start on them based on where the shard drops. So you don't really have to worry about it. Once you get the shard back to the mirror, fire starts spurting out of it and then it tells you that you should clear out the room so you and the mirror can chat. There aren't too many enemies so it's a pretty easy fight here. Um, yeah, Just be sure not to open any more sarcophaguses I guess so you don't spawn any extra enemies. I'm not sure if you can accidentally open them but I'd just be a little extra cautious. And I'd move towards the mirror because I think you have to head towards the mirror later in the fight. Once you clear out all of the enemies in the room, the mirror will tell you that you can access the sun by jumping through it. Or I guess, like, I mean, technically, it's sort of, you're just seeing the reflection of the sun in the mirror. And I, I guess that's the joke. 
or something but basically you just go through the mirror and you get to the sun and it's i guess it's a portal and not a mirror so and i don't know why you couldn't have jumped through earlier but this is where the sunscreen comes in and apparently it's supposed to protect you from the sun you know spf 5000 And once you get to the sun, well, I guess you can walk on sunshine, and that's where the name comes from. And somehow there's a mirror on the sun too, but don't ask me how, how that mirror is on the sun. But basically, you can walk on the sun, and you there's a sun sword just sitting there within arm's reach of the mirror, and you just have to go grab it. There's only two Cyclopses in the way, but sadly, you do take burn damage every turn, so you better on hurry up. Um, I don't think you actually need to kill the Cyclopses, but it, I killed them and I think I captured one because they look cool Even though I already have three Cyclopses. Hindsight 2020. But um, yeah, basically just another grab and get back to the mirror and Yeah, you better hustle. Uh, you got to make it back to the mirror for this part It won't auto pull you in. You have to jump in one at a time or two at a time, I think. Since I captured one of the Cyclopses, um, and you still have to head back to the mirror, so it's sort of weird, because he's just sitting there with the flashing cage on him, and yeah, I, I don't know if this is working as intended, in all honesty. And also, it wouldn't let me through the mirror until um, my um, the, shard, or the, the sword carrier got back. So, yeah, I was slowly burning to death there, and a little panicked, but... It was just weird seeing the cage icon sit there for multiple turns. Uh, I don't know if this is a bug or not, and they might need to fix it. And then you return back to the uh, Earth, and you have a little conversation with the mirror, and you are ready to go take out uh, Megabat, because now you have some magical sun sword that does like insane damage or something. And yep, so stay tuned for next time.